Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, we got an oldie here. Not as old as some. This is actually a newer, older lawn boy. <laughs> so, it's got a broken rope. A starter rope from the Rewind. So this is the end from the handle. And the other one, excuse me, Excuse me to a camera, right? The other one is okay, and the other one is under here. So we got to, we're going to go back to the beginning. I just took the, the hood off. Is all I've done. So we'll just take these four screws out, right? And this fifth one in the back here. So it's just right here. And this lawn boy does not have the starter coming out of the hood. Usually they have something like that that comes up. This one, it just feeds along the bottom and up the arm. So let's get this off of here. And right off the bat, this is the, the fuel line. I think it's been replaced probably by me. This is my neighbor's machine. And this fuel line comes out of the gas tank right there. That's all we've done. So now, this is the whole machine right here. So normally, on a standard lawn boy, this goes around and the rope just comes up and there's a, there's a, a whoops, there's a hole right in here somewhere and the, it comes through. But this one, it comes off the bottom of, the, this is the rewind, comes off the bottom of here and if you can see where that little iron iron uh, thing is right there. The rope comes off the bottom of there over into this uh, excuse me over into this hole right there. Do you see that? And up arm to that uh, eyelet where the rope eventually comes through like that. So I missed that one hole when I rethreaded this one. So there it is. Perfect. I think you got that, hopefully. Try not to scuff my feet. All right, I'm just gonna tilt this up for a minute. Pretty heavy old hardware, man. All right, now, where is that guy? Well, I find it, we'll show you. No, it might be an Allen. Yes, it's an Allen. Quarter inch. All right, so we've got the lawnmower tilted now. And uh, we're going back in. Right to now. I think we can do this. Okay, do you see this is right here? This is our Allen wrench right here. And that little, can I pull it in? Right there. So that Allen key, that's quite a zoom. Right there is the one you have to take off to get this. Whoop, Shoot. That's a good polite way to say it. To get this off. This is the rewind. So this thing right here, this round thing is the rewind. And take note of where this uh, steel guard is located on the rewind. So now I'm going to get this off. Uh, let me think. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's, just, it's coming. I didn't feel it come. I'm feeling it unwind and I don't like that. I do have Allen's on sockets as well. I might try that on the way. I'm going to put it back on. Easy. 
There it is. Whew. And this is it. Now, do I keep the tension on the screw? Or do I just count how many we've lost? Yes. Well, I guess I'll just undo them. It's usually five. One. There. I just took all the slack out of it. Don't know if I'm going to regret that or not. It's my first time doing one of these. So now let's go up to the bench. All right, my friends. I got it back together again. This is the gear with the guide on the bottom, not the top. I did that wrong. And then uh, this is the... Uh, C-clip. I'm just making sure it's guiding in the slot. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to stick it back into the lawnmower with the Allen wrench. So I'll show you where that is right now. I still have a... Yeah, still got a light. So it's going to go, come on, come on this way. So it's going to go right into that hole there. Right into that hole there. And it'll get tightened up with the guide at the bottom. And the string going off this way. Hopefully it's going to be long enough. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to have to put a longer string on there. So my rope was very, very close to being perfect. And, uh, but I show, I'll show you what I did. I'll, well, I don't want to go back because it's this thing. But I just went around with the slack from the, from the handles. And I went around counterclockwise, one, one revolution, and it should work. I probably should almost be able to start this up now. Except for the fact that there's no gas tank hooked up. I'm going to try and start it. Listen to that. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Okay, I'm just going to pull this thing and see if it starts. Nope, it's not going to work. Too thick. Well, hi guys. I'm all done, but the rope's a bit too thick. So I, this is the rewind in here with the spring. The rope comes, this is what I wanted to show you before. The rope comes down from the handle, right there, right here, through this eyelet, right? Down through this eyelet over here. Oh, there it is, right there. But the rope is just a, a skosh too thick, as they say. And this is a five, and I need a four. And I don't really want to buy any more four, any four, because this is the first time in many, many, many years I've had to do these. So I've got a used four that's four inches longer than this one, which should be perfect. So I'm just going to, we'll do a fast motion. All right. So we're going to take the quarter inch uh, Allen key again. We've got a flashlight, we might as well use it. Uh, let's see. It's got to go this way. Perfect. I love it. There it is. It's loose. So much easier the second time, huh? All right. I'm gonna pull this out. And I might not have to take this apart. The 
Well, that's how it works, right? And this moves up and contacts it. So I'm going to try this thinner, tiny bit thinner rope. And I don't think I have to, like I just said, now that I know what I'm doing, a little bit. Right there. I think I can just pull this out. Cut that off. And pull this back. Now I'm going to count how many winds I am to tighten this. One. Seven, seven and a half. And what I did was I put a little mark on here. Do you see that? Right there with a felt pen so I can use it as a starter. Good. So now we're going to take this guy out. And I want to just compare my length. I hope this other one, oh, and I can feel it, that this, this, this one is just a little bit narrower than the, than the new one I stuck in. It's pro it is a four. And I've got another, oh, it's shorter, dang it. Hmm. That's all right. So the narrow, the, the extra narrowness <laughs> is going to create a little bit of length for me as well, we hope. Alrighty. So now I've got that mark right there. I've got this so it's extended. And we're just going to push this rope in here. Maybe. Maybe, baby. You'll be tricked. Now I've got the rope through the hole. Right? the rope through the hole and I'm going to tie a little knot in the end of this. Oh and I got to do one more thing you guys because I got the handle on the other end I have to thread it through the handlebars, the eyelets, the islets. There we go I'm starting to use my brain now. It's not even morning. And I'm going to cut this off of here. I'm going to burn the end of this one. <clears throat> okay. We've got to have this over here. Now we can feed it through the eyelets. One. I wonder if this is going to work. What? That is hard to do, guys. I guess I should wind it up manually afterwards. But I kind of would like to have the tension on the spring right away. I put a knot in this one. And I'm going to just pull it. Oops. Take it back out. Oh, that's pretty close. I think that's going to work. Now I can just spool it up. Alright guys, sorry about that. So this is everything ready to go. I put an extra loop of rope around the bale, I guess you'd call it. 
and I just discovered something now. Right here, this this is like a safety clip, and you can just undo it, and then you can do the rope around the who's it, and then put it right back again, right? I guess I should show you that if I can. There, see that opened up, and then we just do it back up. Whoop. There. Now we're going to just take this bottom ropes coming out the bottom properly. Yes. We're going to stick this in here. Like that vertically. That's 90 degrees. That's at, uh, what would that be, 9 o'clock? And this is at 6 o'clock, this little guy here. And we're going to just tighten it up. But I'm going to shove it in, as always, and then with this kind of stuff, you just take it out a tiny bit, 16th of an inch or something like that. I'm doing up the bolt with my fingers because it, it's easier to do. Okay, let's just tighten it up. Don't mind me guys, I'm getting older. I think of my friends out there, they're all the same. Alright, now I want to see how that feels. How does it feel? Okay. Now, I want to, maybe we can back you up there? No, I want to have a feel with the bail pull. Should feel better. Boy. Now we're out of fuel in the carburetor because I've had this unplugged. This is the fuel line. So now we're going to put this bad boy together. We're going to just tighten up a couple things extra special, surely. Good. Good. So first we have to put this on. Oh, are you guys watching? Yes, you are. Good for you. Good kids. Good kids. And then when we put this on, we have to put this fuel line on at the same time. Just like that. Good. Phillips screwdriver. Turn the gas on, make sure we got no leaks. <laughs> I always do these things before I should, but we can turn the gas on. I turned it back off again, remember that. So when I go to try and start it, remember the gas is turned off. Now when I put stuff together, I put the screws in 90% and then I put the rest in and then tighten them all up once it's once it's an assembly. That's just an old thing I learned from my equipment installation days, right? And it is nice to have everything put back together, isn't it? One, two, three, four. All right, turn on the gas, baby. Lower it down for 
safety. It's actually only dangerous when I have my coat on and the coat gets sucked in from the blade. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna push it forward a bit. Can you guys still see it? No, you can't. This is the big event. I feel sorry for me because I have to edit this. I did it over two days with two different size of ropes. <laughs> hey there! How are you doing? I'm working on Al's lawn boy. Oh. Come on in. I'd be unemployed if I didn't have neighbors. <laughs> yeah, that's what right is. good guys it was just me and then I found out I do I don't have uh, pardon me but I don't have uh, a shut off I'm just gonna check into that 